This is not simply the story of a ship, but in this ship, in this ship's name, is the long story of our islands and of the sea. The story of British sea power began in the first great Elizabethan age. And far from ending, the ship is the new chapter in the continuing story of the second great Elizabethan age. Lord God Almighty, let your blessing rest upon this ship and all who will serve in her. May the strength of God pilot them. May the hand of God protect them. May the way of God direct them. May the shield of God protect them in all dangers and temptations. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, rest upon them this day and forevermore. Amen. The first Queen Elizabeth marked a new class of battleship and entered service during the First World War. She too was associated with Resyth, having been refitted here early in the Second War prior to distinguished service in the Mediterranean and Far East. Like her illustrious predecessor, this Queen Elizabeth is in innovative and first of class. She marks a new phase in our naval history, being the largest ship ever built for the Royal Navy. Lord Mountbatten told my father on becoming king that there is no more fitting preparation to be king than to have been trained in the Royal Navy. My own personal associations, especially as the proud sponsor of six other warships and submarines, remind me that that reputation for excellence continues to this day. Wherever the ship may serve, whatever tasks may be asked of her, let all those who serve on her know that on this day, she was blessed with the prayers of us all for her success and for her safe return to calm waters. I name this ship Queen Elizabeth. May God bless her and all who sail in her. King helicopter accompanied by RAF Merlin and Chinook demonstrate the joint capability which enables our ships to support our troops ashore. The fixed wing aircraft are represented by three
up! Three cheers for Her Majesty the Queen! Head head! Head head! Head head!
commissioning order sent by Vice Admiral Ben Key, CBE, Fleet Commander. May God's blessing be upon the ship and the personnel hereby entrusted to your command. And may your joint endeavours to uphold the high traditions of the Royal Naval in the service of Her Majesty the Queen be crowned with success and happiness. Given under my command this 30th of November 2017. Let us unite our prayers in seeking his blessing upon this ship and all who serve in her. I call upon you to pray for God's blessing on this ship. May God the Father bless her. Bless our ship. May Jesus Christ bless her. Bless our ship. And may the Holy Spirit bless her. Teacher, do you not care that we perish? And he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? gathered here in Portsmouth today, just a short distance from HMS Victory, a flagship of our seafaring past and a reminder of the debt we owe to the Royal Navy, which for more than 500 years has pr protected the people of this country and our interests around the world. Like HMS Victory, HMS Queen Elizabeth embodies the best of British technology and innovation, a true flagship for the 21st century. As the daughter, wife, and mother of naval officers, I recognize the unique demands our nation asks of you, and I will always value my special link with HMS Queen Elizabeth, her ship's company, and their families. As you prepare to take this country's message of peace, partnership, and prosperity across the seas and oceans of the world, the Lord High Admiral, the Duke of Edinburgh, joins me in wishing you well in all your endeavors. And on the 26th of June, we sailed your Majesty's ship under the fourth bridges in the dead of night with only six feet of clearance above the mainmast and soon we found ourselves east of the Isle of May in the North Sea. I immediately got a sense of her as she powered through a substantial easterly swell. She handled beautifully, strong and secure, and I knew then, at that moment, that we had a good ship. Next year, our focus switches to integrating the many different aircraft types that will operate from this great deck, and then onto our operational life with her embarked Air Wing and Royal Marines. We particularly look forward to continuing our ever closer carry cooperation 
with our American and French colleagues in the years ahead. And lastly, to my ship's company. The flexibility, patience and resilience that you have shown has made me extremely proud to be your captain. From where we were in Easter this year to where we are today is testament to your determination to get things done and done properly.